everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports for today's World Rankings Preview. And uh, we did this a couple of weeks ago when there were a couple of games on, but now it's really back to the battle for number one spot and the likes on the World Rugby Rankings because we officially have Test Match Rugby um, in across the board. We have got Samoa versus Italy, Fiji versus Georgia. We have got USA versus Romania. We've got New Zealand versus England. Wales versus Australia, South Africa versus Ireland, Canada, Scotland, as well as Argentina versus France. So as a result, lots of places and potential uh, points up for grabs for the various teams, um, with Ireland potentially um, coming going back to the top of that world rankings table with a big win over the Springboks. Let's get into it, shall we? And before we do, smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel as well. So, the battle for number one, which some people don't really care about. If you do, let me know in the comments, if you do or don't. Um, I mean, I don't think it's the B.O. and Endor, for example, but I don't think it's a bad barometer. I think they're generally more or less correct in terms of the top two, three sides. Uh, I mean, it's not a trophy, for example. Maybe if they added a trophy, there would be uh, a more incentive towards it, for example. Uh, a bit of a lever that they were kind of looking at. But let's go into what the permutations are for the weekend, shall we? As mentioned, Ireland will return to the top of the rankings should they beat South Africa with the current number ones by more than 15 points obviously if you guys know how the system works it factors in first of all a win loss draw then a margin of victory less than 15 more than 15 and then home or away that does come into it so obviously Ireland beating South Africa gives them points beating them by more than 15 gives them more points and away gives them even more points that is why they can climb that high um, they were the world number one uh, lost it last year when South Africa beat New Zealand in um, uh, in the World Cup. And, and when they lost to New Zealand, they, they sort of dropped out. Um, a smaller margin of victory would see them close the gap, but not go to number one. They were close to within 0.49 rating points ahead of their second game next week, which means a loss next week would probably then put the box um, below Ireland. A smaller margin of victory would... Uh, so, yeah, with their, and the Sprung... The Sprung box. Uh, the Spring box could extend their advantage over Ireland to 4.79 points if they are victorious by more than 15 uh, points. A win of this magnitude will take their rating above 95 points um, following a gain of 0.47 points. Um, I mean, that's yeah, that's mental if they were to do that. Uh, a smaller margin of victory would result in South Africa holding a 4.49 point advantage. Um, whatever happens to Loftus, South Africa and Ireland will still occupy the two top spots. They cannot drop lower than 1 2. So there's still be a battle for 1 2 next weekend. Uh, France and England can both replace New Zealand in third place this weekend if they win and the score lines are weighted in their favor. Uh, the All Blacks can drop down to fifth, which is their lowest ever ranking. If they are beaten by England by more than 15 points and France draw or win the first test against Las Pumas. A smaller win for England will still see them climb a place to fourth if France fail to beat Argentina. Um, the All Blacks cannot improve on third place this weekend. And the same applies to Scotland in sixth as they can improve their rating due to the 21.92 difference between themselves and Canada uh, before home waiting is even factored in. Uh, Victoria, Scotland are safe in sixth unless Argentina beat France by more than 15 points, in which case Los Pumas will replace them in sixth place. Uh, two places is the most that Wales can climb with a win over Australia, although it will depend on the margin and the outcome of Italy's match against Samoa. Uh, any loss, if tandem with Fiji avoiding defeat in Georgia, will see Australia drop out of the top 10 for the first time since the rankings were introduced in 2003. So it could be an absolute nightmare weekend for Australia if things were to really go back. Uh, if Georgia win, Australia cannot fall lower than 10, even with a heavy defeat. Um, but uh, if they beat Fiji by more than 15 points, the gap between them and Australia could be just 0.7 rating points. So Georgia could very much be coming uh, for Australia, which would be interesting. Uh, a win for Fiji against Georgia and a defeat for Wales would see the two teams uh, swap places, with the Pacific Islands moving into the top 10 and Wales dropping to an all-time low of 11th. A two-place climb to a record equaling 11th place as possible for Georgia if they beat Fiji by more than 15 points. Elsewhere, uh, wins for Romania against the USA and Chile against Hong Kong uh, would lead to both teams climbing the rankings as well. 
That is what is at stake this weekend. Just very quickly, if you wanted to know, because they do confirm the match officials over here, Simone Italy will be officiated by Paul Williams. Craig Evans will take charge of a referee, uh, also a referee, Fiji versus Georgia. Um, Angus maybe will take on his uh, test debut with USA versus Romania on Friday. And uh, Nick Amashakili from Georgia will referee New Zealand versus England. Really, really do rate him. Uh, Pierre Bosset from France will take charge of Australia versus Wales. Luke Pierce will be the man in charge of South Africa versus Ireland. Um, it'll be the first time he officiated these two teams in the clash. It'll be a second time refereeing at Loftus. Uh, the last referee there in a warm-up match back in 2019 against Argentina. Chris Busby will referee Argentina and France um, for the first time. And uh, Adam Leal from England will take charge of Canada and Scotland. Where do we see the various people landing up on the world rankings? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve, and I'll chat to you soon.